Um, good evening, guys. It's Aki here again. Um, just looking at um, trade trade plan for a um, week ahead. Just a quick analysis. There's no signals yet. Just analysis as to what to expect for coming week. Um, market is going to open in um, less than half an hour. Let's see um, if we can get few trade set up. Um, we had a great um, well. Euro JPY was possibly the best trade of last week, and Still in target to hit the uh, final target, but we came out because of obviously weekend and we're in a decent position. Um, and also there's some data during the weekend. That was one of the reasons that I decided to close it because we don't know what um, we might see a um, gap open during the weekend. Don't know. There was some news, so I won't. I'm not a big risk taker, so I won't be taking a risk when I'm in a good position with trade. I always close my trade and weekend. Um, if it's a long-term trade, monthly ones, then I possibly hold. But unless that, I usually close my trades for weekends, even with a small loss. And as you can see on um, daily um, Euro 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 JPY, still I am expecting that to um, roll down a bit more. Um, yeah, we still got a little, about around 100 pips um, towards the downside before we see a rally up. Um, so until it breaks um, 30, 26, I will be looking to sell on this one. Um, I'll, I'm going to watch and see um, tomorrow how, how this plan out. If I see rally up and fail to break this level, I'll be selling it. Um, around, I think it's going to hold this level. I think from there, the way things are, you possibly see possibly see Monday, Tuesday, possibly a pullback and might then pull see a um, reversal. This is what I'm expecting with the um, Euro JPY. I'm expecting to push down a bit and um, possibly to around 26, around that area. Then possibly see a rally up. So that's when I'm going to look for a um, long position. Right now, this level is the level I'm focusing. As long as this level holds 30 29 around 30 30 um, I'll be looking to sell until it breaks this or drop below see some sort of rejection around that area that's when I'm going to go for long um, my long position um, so this one is very much um, it's as, as things are it's very much um, same setup as um, last last week I think it was Thursday um, so I am expecting this to um, drop and then rally up but we have to see um, for the next day or two how this plan out. But I am I am looking to sh um, go short on this one as things stand until <clears throat> come to around 26 area, possibly 25. That's when I would be start to look into and buy. But then again, if this 24 level breaks, we we'll possibly see going straight to 20. So those are the areas that uh, we just have to watch out for um, this week. Let's see how this and um, when the market opens, then we're going to get a bit more clear idea. But well, as things stands, looking to sell, and um, then I will be looking to buy. And um, possibly t towards the end of the week, we'll probably see buying opportunity. But right now, it's still a sell until it breaks this level. So let's see if this same um, goes as uh, as things are, and we'll based on that we'll take trades. I uh, trade on this, possibly take a trade on um, um short position and. See if it goes and hit our target. Target is going to be same as um, last week. Hit our first target, and then its price got rejected at 27. Um, uh, at 28, exactly on 28. Price got rejected. Let's see if it uh, breaks 28. Then we we'll possibly see 24, um, around 26, 25, and then we we'll probably see buying opportunities. Um, until then, um, I'll see you guys um, in in the morning and. Let's look at a few other pairs. All right, thanks a lot, guys. I'm going to finish this video and then I'm going to go into next. Um, next, I'm going to look at um, EuroUSD and a few other ones. All right, thanks.